Welcome back to another day in the life. We are hitting up some live arena really quick to make sure we get our fights in. I just did one uh, right before this recording. I don't know why I didn't wait, but um, Rotos just popped off like he always does. So it worked out in our favor. And I'm gonna do my classic team. I really like starting off with Pytheon instead of Duchess. I don't know why. I think it's just like a, a mental thing for me, but I feel like less people kind of expect it. So works out for me. And I got my dog here. She is going crazy right now. Level 75, but he has two Void Legendaries. Yeah, I figured he was going to have a third as well. So I'm thinking we'll bring in the Necrit. And Taros can get banned. I'm not really concerned about anyone else dealing too much damage to us. So... With Candy, we should be fine. Throw this on, so that way we don't get the decreased defense and uh, stuns. Really just depends on how hard Ragash hits, I guess. And we'll target Marichka for now. And we'll throw that on her. Alrighty, so they can't revive anymore. So unless Candy does something stupid like counterattack, I think we should be fine. Yeah, the only issue I can see if we get a couple weak hits. But we should be fine. Go in, see what we can do to Tuhana Rock. She's down. I'm going to save the ally attack because I want to make sure that I get as many hits on Mortu before he can attack me. Um, Alright, I might, I should, probably should have thrown the veil and increased attack and all that stuff on, but oh well. <clears throat> I can do it with Duchess this next turn, or just do it with Candy. Yeah, I'll just do this. Get the increased crit damage as well. Still holding on to it. Playing it like extra, extra safe right now. Alrighty, and we should be good. All right, he left. <laughs> he left, which is kind of funny because, like, that was probably the most dangerous part of the entire fight. So, I think he probably should have stuck it out. He, like, if he kills my candy, I think I'm in kind of a rough spot. But, oh well. I'm not complaining. I got my good luck dog here. Danny. She might need to sit in my lap later because that's just how she is. All right, Uko and Pytheon. Uko is such a menace, like, really a big pain. Um, Staltus is going to be another pain. I'm trying to think of if I can bring in anyone else that would be better against him. But I don't think I have anyone in particular. So, see who his second damage dealer is. Yumiko is more than likely going to get the ban. Yeah, she'll get the ban. They ban my candy, which is fine. Hopefully I'm faster than him. 
And then the goal, um, maybe take out Rotos first. We'll save the cleanse. Get the increased attack. Do this. Nice, we land the decrease attack, which is nice. <laughs> Good thing, too, because he smacks. Throw that on her. And then we can do this. And then hopefully steal a little bit of health. Nice. Yeah, the protection set for Necra is actually really nice. We'll kill him. And then he'll revive, which isn't a huge deal. Nice. We do get the extra turn. I want to A1 again. I was hoping for a second extra turn, and then we could have tried to take down Rodos again. Fortunately, our Rodos is above half health, too, so if he tried to target mine, I'd be fine. I'll try and place the decrease attack on him. We get it. No big deal with that. We'll do the cleanse here. And then... Try and take him out. Unfortunate. Yikes. <laughs> that did not work out as planned. Uh-oh. This could this could go bad pretty quickly. Fortunate that that was a weak hit for sure. I don't think yeah, I was going to say I don't think he has another um AoE yet. We'll throw that on her. Get some buffs on everyone, heal up a little. I do think his Rodos is probably in a better spot than mine is right now. And... I'll do this. Nice. I just want to cycle around with his abilities. Maybe just like, I don't know, get him a little bit low. I think not this turn, but I think next turn Uko has his block debuffs and stuff. Yeah, I was going to say, I think he has the revive. Duchess doesn't have hers yet. Does Pytheon? He doesn't either. Yeah, I think this is going to be kind of tough for me to come back from. Especially, so we're going to do this. Uko is going to do the block buffs, I think. And then I should, yeah, like, because my Pytheon's going now. Just kind of a pain. No, okay, so. Yeah, I think Duchess goes down here. Oh, okay. Fortunate that he didn't have that uh, ability. 
So the question is, who do I kill here? Or attack at least, because I feel like this is the difference between me winning and losing. We kill him. We kill him as well, which is really nice. We'll try and get the decrease attack out. We do. And then we try and get him below half health. I think my Rotos is just above half. Nice. Yeah, I think Rotos just has a sliver above half. Yes, he does. Oh, no. <laughs> so unfortunate. I think he has the revive. Yep. Pythion should have his. Hey, are you eating my chair? I'm in an intense battle, okay? Yikes. Okay, that cleanse is really clutch in the heal. I do think he's got the A3 though. Maybe not. I think I have enough to be able to block revive. No, I don't. That might have been a mistake. Yeah, that was definitely a mistake. Oh, I think I just lost it. Yeah. We'll leave it there. Mm. Yeah, that was definitely just a uh, bad call on my part, I think. We'll, uh, we'll go back in there in a little, but I want to grab these rewards. I did, uh, I already hit my hard key today, and I opened my hard chest, and I got a void shard from hard again. So, that's like my third or fourth void that I've gotten from hard uh, clan boss in the past like week and a half. So definitely, I think it's had better rewards for me than Nightmare has. And uh, hey, uh, Ultra Nightmare is looking pretty nice so far. Double Sacred. Oh, we love to see double Sacred. So now we're at 27 Sacreds, which is awesome. For the Soul Merchant, we have the Two Star Supreme Kale, which I'm not looking to get right now. The Pythion could actually be good for another option on uh, um, Polymorph. I couldn't think of the word, even though I see it every day. So I might think about that, but I do want to keep saving up to get the 120 for some of my other champions. I don't know what it just gave me there, but it didn't show anything. And then let's check out our Hydra. A flat stat. This could be pretty good, actually. The crit damage is the worst stat, and uh, everything else looks really nice. Only one soul stone. We get two this time. I might keep this because I think I do need resistance chest plates, and then the HP percentage is nice too. This crit damage, crit rate is good. We'll sell that. I'm going to sell that. I have noticed my gloves are really weak for both stone skin and protection, so I'm going to be a little more lenient on them. Uh, they do need to be a percentage though. This piece actually could be decent. Speed and defense would be good. I guess attack and crit rate don't help much, but um, yeah, a six star Lego piece isn't bad. HP, defense, and accuracy is good. Again, just a one star just one mortal soul stone from both of those, which is kind of annoying. Flat defense. Defense percentage with speed, so we can roll those up and get heartbroken. Five star stuff. And then hopefully we get three mortal soul stones from these ones. We do this time. Attack percentage boots with crit rate. We'll keep those. Accuracy, speed, HP, that's good. Crit rate, crit damage, and speed. Again, that's solid. This HP and defense percentage. Resistance, speed, and accuracy. 
and flat HP. And then let's see what the last one has in store. <laughs> Only one piece that is... This is interesting. Like, it's tempting to want to keep it, but because it's five star, I need to be more aggressive with selling stuff. It, it could be kind of good, but I'm, I just need to sell it. Anything... Oh, dang it. I hate when that happens. Um, anything that's five star, though, I just need to kind of sell those off now. So let's pop these open. Hopefully we get something good. Maybe we'll get a Pytheon. That way I don't have to buy one. Hey, hey, you asking you shall receive. I am glad I didn't spend the uh, 20 coins on the Pytheon. But hey, we'll take definitely a two star over the one star. So that's uh, that's fantastic. We'll grab that open up these last nine with single pulls but hey i'm i honestly everything else could just be blues and i'll be happy from the two star pytheon that's really nice that's kind of funny that like i almost bought it and then i just decided not to and i'm glad i didn't it kind of makes up i guess for when i went to go buy jintoro and then i bought the foley again on accident Three star for um, Paragon. All right, looking like all blues. I guess I guess the game was like, yeah, you are gonna get all blues now. Oh well, hey, we'll take it for sure. We are gonna awaken you, Pythion. And then what does he get when he has two star? So the two star gives him an extra four hundred defense. I guess I, I probably could have just put it on, but now he'll be closer to that 4k defense, which is nice. And we do have the 5% extra. So nice. We can look out for his three star in the shop. And then the four star is going to be really big with that resistance as well. So he's looking pretty decent. 65k HP, 3.8k defense, 252 speed, 565 resistance. And um, I guess with that extra defense too, I could even look at other builds that give him more HP just because the A1 and, um, well, this, I guess only heals based off of the, uh, allies HP, but this one scales off of his HP. So the higher his HP, the more he will heal up the allies. So yeah, looking pretty good. I guess I could roll this up to 16 too. What a and hope for HP percentage too, so nice. Definitely happy with that. We can sell our blues. We'll keep the Paragon, I guess. And some of these lower ones. Just not gonna use any of those champions. Oh, and hey, we can buy two more. I probably should have thought about that before. So I didn't have to do the 10 pulls, but see what we get a five star chopper just what i was hoping for actually and a one star lady quillen so how much is the chopper worth 26 coins of the uh the big ones that's nice and where was there she was i don't really need that infernal baroness either or whatever whatever that champion is Sweet, and let's go back in, do the last two live arena battles. I need to make sure that I get uh, both of these done because I claimed the a refill yesterday around the same time. So I wanna just make sure that I'm good on that end. Oh, look at that two-star polymorph. And then it brings him up to the uh, kind of the front of the line too, which is nice. So Supreme Alhane, so I won't bring in the Necrit this time. I can bring in maybe Uko instead. Could also bring in Arbiter to try and throw them off a little. Uh, where is Candy? I need to put all of the arena tags. Now that everyone everyone like moved just one spot, it's all I'm all confused. I have been impressed when I've gone up against Supreme Alhane. I feel like she's a pretty solid champion. More than likely, they'll ban my Rhodos this time. So if I bring in... Okay, they have Warlord and... Okay, so I'll just bring in UDK. 
and kind of nullify the Rodos, and then Warlord's gonna get banned. And I'll bring in my own Rodos. He'll probably bring in UDK as well, but I don't mind. Even if he does bring in UDK, I don't mind it. We're actually making some pretty good progress. Yesterday, um, I had eight out of 10 fights won in my little thing. And then now, I guess we can check after this one and see how we're doing. But yeah, we'll ban Warlord. They do ban UDK, which is kind of unfortunate. But Candy also is pretty good against Rodos. We'll see. They're going to cycle through too, uh, faster than us. Okay, and she's in stone skin. Shoot. It'll be interesting to see how this goes down. I think we have potential to win this, but I think it's going to be really tough. If he's smart, he'll go for my Duchess. I guess you don't really have to be that smart. You kind of have to be dumb to not go for Duchess. Get this out. Interested to see. I think he'll do the one that gives him an extra turn if he kills her. Yep. And hopefully Candy stays alive. Nice. He'll kill my Candy. And then we'll get the revive. Yeah, it's going to be pretty tough. What's up, Janie? My dog's whining. I guess, though, the, the positive side of this, Rodos lost the veil. And we still have Duchess's heal. Ah, shoot. He goes before us. Take out my candy, probably. We'll do this. And then this. And then because he put the increased attack on, that was kind of a mistake. I think, yeah, he does have the revive. An extra turn would have been really nice. Unfortunate that we didn't get it. It's possible, but not probable, that we win this. Who does he hit? Rodos, probably? I guess Supreme Alhain. Oh, wow. He just smacked. It's going to take a little bit of a miracle for me. Yep, I think that's it. Yeah, unfortunate there, but oh, well, you can't win them all. Yeah, so these two that we just lost, but otherwise everything was a win. So let's go in, do the last fight, and see how it goes. He level 82, so hopefully that's a, a good sign for us. Once again, we'll grab the Pythion, which I forget, now he's over here. The uh, non-weak hit on Pythion at the end was kind of the dagger on us, I guess. Just waiting and waiting. Shemnath and a five star Cardiel. I wish I had a five star for my Cardiel. Oof, I don't even know what I would put, which one I'd put what on, but that would be really nice. Let's go in with the early Rotos pick this time. All my champions, everyone that was on the top is on the bottom, and everyone that was on the bottom is on the top now because Pytheon switched from bottom to top. 
confusing me. Good problem to have though, I guess. I'm gonna bring in my Arbiter as well. And who else do I want? So Shemnath can strip. It's pretty hard. Cardial does the cleanse. Yeah, I think I just want to go candy again. Yeah, they're my two like best built damage dealers. Baron, uh, Baron has my best damage gear, but he's so slow that he's not useful in live arena. So if we ban, we're just going to go all in. Definitely looks like this guy spent a dollar or two. Okay, so he does ban ours as well. We both have speed auras. Pythion does have the... Okay, so they get the resist, which is interesting. My dog's sniffing something in a bag. Being a weirdo. Wow, he's uh, pretty quick. But that's all right, because we're still going to be faster than them. I'm assuming the um, Rhodos is going to go down here. No, okay. So we do this, and then we do this. Ah, so clutch. Then we do this. Then we do this. <laughs> the systematic plays against the enemy. Definitely was a close one, but not much of a shot for that guy. So nice. That was a relatively easy win, I guess, all things considered. Oh, shoot. So it, it looks like it just ran out probably like... 10 minutes ago, so I probably should have checked that, but oh well, um, it is what it is, so yeah, we are looking good, otherwise though, I've been chilling in tag, I've been doing some fights today, and I didn't take my defense out, so uh, as you can see, we are looking pretty good, as long as I keep my defenses in, uh, I don't think there's any real reason that I shouldn't be able to go up to gold too, so that's nice, and um, I think everything else, like I said, we're, we're coming in on the monthly. I've been doing a lot of campaign battles this week instead of the, uh, like traditional go in dungeons like I normally do. So I'm going to keep doing that. The champ training, I highly recommend you all do it. It's not under tournaments, it's under events, but, um, yeah, so I would highly, highly recommend if you haven't done this, the artifact enhancement is well worth it. The math I did in my video yesterday was wrong, but that was because the chart was wrong. Um, I would definitely recommend doing this. I'm going to do it. I haven't had an immortal soul stone in a while. And then the 275 eternal soul coins is a substantial amount too. So yeah, definitely would recommend that. I'm going to get out of here though. You guys don't need to watch me farm some stuff on campaign and hopefully tomorrow we can get some other clan boss chests just like we had today but yeah i appreciate everyone coming by and saying what's up and all that and i will catch you all in the next one peace